were exploring an old icebreaker from the 1950s. What's up, Pea Nation? It's our second day in Estonia, and today we're spending all more time outside. We're going to the President's Palace, checking out the garden there, and then we're going to, I guess it's not outside, a museum, because we thought we were gonna have to escape the cold, but it's actually quite warm today. It is a gorgeous day. I mean, it's still chilly, it's still jacket weather, but the sun's out, which it wasn't yesterday. <laughs> but first, we gotta catch a tram. Behind us is the Kadriorj Art Museum. I think that's how you say it. It's in Baroque style and erected in 18th century by Tsar Peter the Great. Okay, this park has been super nice, and now we are getting on a train to go to, it's like a port. It's originally, it was originally built for the Olympics when the Olympics were in Moscow. So we're gonna check out what's still left. It was like where people sailed from. What? sailing complex in St. Petersburg because they wanted to highlight Estonia and it's still here. It's just like a huge concrete block with a convention center in the middle and they're actually having a sailing competition right now. So it's really cool to like sit there and just reminisce if we were in 1980s USSR. It's just super weird to be here because it hasn't changed at all. along the water and we knew there was a communist prison but we didn't know you could go inside and like check it out. This is very eerie in here. Okay, so we happen to be in Tallinn during maritime days. I think that's what it's called. And it's like this big boat festival and we're here at the port. They have tons of food, lots of people drinking beer, and all these different boats on display, and we were able to come onto this ship for free. This is so cool. They let you walk around literally everywhere. They're like telling us about how people lived on this thing. I think it would have been very nerve-wracking to break through ice and like worried about it always getting ruptured or stuck. Yeah, I'm nervous like, right now, Ben. <laughs> it was like a backup, like propeller to like push you back in case you were stuck in ice, but that was not always guaranteed. Sorry, 
Sorry, just shoveling coal over here. This is so cool. I think they normally make you pay to come in here, but because it's Maritime Days, it's just open to everybody. I just wanna like touch everything. This is like our fourth cabin and they are so Nice, this is just the cabin of the fourth engineer. Basically, this whole ship is a big old engine room and one level where everybody slept. And honestly, this captain's bedroom is better than some of the Airbnbs we've slept in. This was so cool. Tall and so far is amazing. It is, but we've lost our friend Daniel, so we have to go find him. <laughs> this whole time, I'm like worried that like I'm just gonna hit my head on any one of these pipes. There's like so many different things hanging down. I just hit my head. <laughs> Pretty tight hole. After walking a quite a far distance, we are so happy to be chowing down on a fresh cinnamon roll. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. That's some like that's a grandma cinnamon roll. You know, it's not fake. It's not Pillsbury. A grandma made this with love. It's so good. So that's it from us today. We've had a great day just exploring Tallinn and the port and seeing the Maritime Museum and like the area. They're having the Maritime Festival, I guess. It was a really cool day. I liked it. Yeah, first impressions <laughs> of Estonia are, I could live here. Of course, the capital city is most likely the best city in the country. So I don't know, we'll have to explore yeah, later. I had that thought too. I just said